Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hey. Okay, go. Love you. Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today I am bringing you my March Mystery Madness TBR. R, 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 R. Yeah, I know. I don't normally do TBRs because I am, you know, past Courtney is a really big bully and and future Courtney's super lazy. So present Courtney's like, I know I'm gonna set a TBR. It's gonna happen because it's happening in this video. But, you know, future Courtney might not follow it and past Courtney's gonna be salty and present Courtney's gonna be stuck in the middle. And you know what? That's just, that's a lot of drama for Courtney. Why am I talking about myself in the third person? I don't know. So without further ado, let's get into this. So March Mystery Madness is this amazing event that I am helping host. And I will link my announcement down below with all of the amazing hosts that are doing it along with me. And it's, it's super exciting because all of March is going to be based on specific genre mysteries. And you know me, I am a cozy mystery lover, but I'm going to, I'm going to branch out. I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone. It's going to be fantastic. So we have actually six words that are sort of challenges for the month of March. And I'm going to base six books specifically off of these challenges. Now, Hopefully I can read all of them. Hopefully future Courtney isn't a pain in my butt and doesn't decide to change her mind, but she probably will because let's face it, it's future Courtney and she doesn't like TBRs. So let's get started. So the very first word that I'm going to talk about is foreign. And what I'm going to read for foreign is Miss Seton Paints the Town by Hamilton Crane. This is a heroine Carvix Miss Seton series. So this is actually a series that I got at my local used bookstore and it is foreign because it is based in Scotland. And okay, part of me bought this book because Miss Seton is an old lady and she is sort of my spirit animal, but also because she's painting and that reminds me of Bob Ross. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm in love with Bob Ross, not like, in love, in love with Bob Ross. But Aaron and I tend to watch him on Netflix before we're going to bed because he's super relaxing and calming. And she reminded me of like an old lady Bob Ross. I know that's a really weird reason to want to read this book, but it's a cozy and it looked awesome and I like the cover. So this is a judgy free zone and I'm reading this book. So yeah. So the next word that I am going to be doing is shelf. So basically I'm shopping my own shelf and I am choosing title wave. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> title wave, like, like title wave, except it's title, like the title of a book. Okay, Courtney, focus. So this is title wave by Lorna Barrett. And this is from a Booktown mystery series. This is the next in the series that I need to read. I wanna find out what's going on with Trisha and Angelica and Trisha's shop, haven't got a clue, which is a shop, a bookstore, totally surrounding mysteries, antique mysteries and everything. If you have seen my mini book haul, you know that this was in it. And I am super, super excited to read this book. The next word is new, and it's basically read a new a new series, a new author, and I'm, I'm actually doing both. This is Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder by Joanne Fluke, and I couldn't find the original cover. It kind of makes me mad that this is the Mate Movie Hallmark cover. I know that Angela from Writer A Heart loves this series on Hallmark, and I know that Alexandra from The Average Girl's life. Um, she loves this series as well. She really loves cozy mysteries. And so I saw this and I had to get it. And so this counts for a new author and a new series. So look at me, I'm doubling up. The next word in the challenge is historical and nothing is more historical to me than an Agatha Christie book. And I am super excited because this is a Miss Marple 
book and it's a Caribbean mystery, a Miss Marple mystery. And of course, this is actually written originally in 1965, so I'm considering it historical and I'm, I'm super, super excited to read this anytime I watch a Miss Marple episode or movie i just i get all goosebumpies and happy feelings and so i'm pretty sure that's how i'm gonna feel when i read this book as well the next word is opposite and i was actually having a pretty hard time figuring out what book i was going to use for opposite because normally i read cozy mystery books i mean i read other sort of genres in between fantasy and sci-fi and things like that, but I don't normally like to read depressing books or books that are going to sort of give me heart palpitations or make me have sweaty hands and things like that. But Book of the Month Club actually sort of saved my skin on this. And the book that I'm gonna read for opposite is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. So this is sort of um, written in two different time periods in 1950 and in um, 2014 in Vermont. And um, they are, it's, it's all about these girls that don't really have a home that they can go to. So they're, they're sort of put into this this all girls home and um, it's called Ida Wild Hall. But even though these girls are sort of having a budding relationship, one of them goes missing and it's sort of a whole entire book about the adventures of figuring out what happened to this girl and and everything that surrounds Ida Wild Hall. And so this is sort of a thriller, sort of suspense kind of book, but I'm super excited to read it. And last but certainly not least is the word borrowed. And I don't have it in hand because it does not come out until March 18th, but I am super, super excited for the book Tulips and Trouble by London Lovett. If you have not read the Port Danby series on Amazon, you are missing out, my friend. It is a fantastic series. I actually read the first four books in like three days. Like it was, it, I don't know, it was something like that. It was ridiculous, but I love, love this series and I'm super excited to read this and I'm considering it borrowed since even though I pay for Kindle Unlimited, you can borrow up to 10 books at a time on your Kindle and so I'm considering that borrowed. So that is what I am reading for the month of March Mystery Madness. I might read more, I might not read those. It all depends on how future Courtney's feeling. Do you ever have a problem with telling yourself, yeah, I'm gonna read those books and then future you's like, ha, you thought you were gonna read those books and then you aren't gonna because that's how, that's how, you know, I work and I don't know if I'm alone. Please don't let me be alone. Please be like that with me. Or let me know I'm not alone. That would be cool. So if you found this video useful, entertaining, or you learned something new about mysteries or a book that you're going to read, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye. All right, one more. One more what? You gotta line it up perfectly. That's not perfect. You gotta line it up perfectly. No. Okay, line it up. Love you.